Hey, it's Beige in Venice, Italy. Harten is such sweet sorrow, such a beautiful city. I had the chance to check out Murano Island where they make the beautiful Murano glass. Also, Burano Island, that's with a B, where they have um, some beautiful houses. I got some postcards and stuff. They're known for their colorful houses, so that was very pretty. Um, last week I was in Rome where I got to check out the Vatican Museum and the Sistine Chapel. That was amazing. That was crazy to actually walk in the room where I used to read about it in history books. And before that, I was in Paris, France. So traveling with a few of my ladies from the Gold Group because that's what the Gold Group is all about. It's all about accountability and support and and just working together, collaborating as women instead of competing. So I started the Gold Group for accountability purposes because a lot of women who wrote into me for life coaching felt like they were alone because they didn't really have anybody in their immediate circle to help them or motivate them or push them or or just see their vision. So I partnered them up with women who are like-minded, whether in the same city or not. So that has been very fulfilling. So next we are off to, yeah, Athens, Greece, and then Santorini, Greece, and then London on July 1st. So hopefully you all can make it to my Design Your Life workshop. And we'll just be talking about finding your passion, going after your passion, making money from your passion. And that's July 1st, so hopefully you can make it. If you can't, you can always order it on video, thegoldgroupinc.com, T-H-E-G-O-A-L, group, I-N-C.com. So um, yeah, here in Venice, Italy, such a romantic, such a romantic place. So next time I will come with my significant other. <laughs> But it's such a romantic place. But I, I want to tell you ladies to embrace the wait. While you're single, don't rush it. Single is not a curse. Single is the time to work on you, to invest on you, well, in you, to find out what you really like, what you don't like, what makes you tick. You know, read books, go to workshops, travel, meet people, experience different cultures. So, and, and most of all, figure out how to make you happy. Because a lot of you, you just want a man to make you happy and you put all this load and all this burden on the poor man. <laughs> on the poor man. And um, it's never gonna work like that. You have to take some time to invest in you and to, to, to be alone with you for a while and, and just find out what you want, whether it's through reading or reflecting or meditating or traveling but just find out who you are what you want as a person and where you want to go because then you'll know when a man come if he's the right man for you does he share your same vision but if you don't have a vision for your life if you don't have a plan for your life you'll fall into somebody else's plan and guess what they'll have planned for you <laughs> not much so take this time to plan your life and think about your ideal man and work on you so when your ideal man comes along you have something to offer him so you're not disposable and irreplaceable to him you'll be able to engage in conversations because a lot of times i get emails from women one they don't meet the right type of men so if that's you you have to find out or analyze where you're going what kind of environments are you hanging out in because you're going to meet men regardless it's about the caliber of man you want to meet. So you have to put yourself in those environments. And then two, the second problem is, a lot of women say they meet the right type of men, but these men don't take them seriously, or they don't really have much in common, so they don't have a lot to talk about. That's an issue, because if you meet the men you really want, you have to be able to share the same interests, engage in conversation. If he's talk talking about traveling or art or museums or wine or cigars or golf or business and you can't contribute to the conversation, it gets pretty boring after a while. So while you're single, use this time to reflect on you, to invest in you. And a lot of your women, you're coming off desperate. 
and that is running men away without you even knowing it like go through your instagram posts go through your social sites and if every other post is about wanting a man you can't wait till you have a man you can't wait to have kids it kind of scares men away because they kind of feel like you just want this ready mix package just add water you know like like you're baking a cake um no each man wants to know that it's them that you pick not just that you wanted any man and they came along so go through your posts and try to clean it up a bit even if you are ready for kids if you are already a man you don't have to announce it to the world because from the outside looking in it comes off a, a little desperate so I just wanted to talk about embracing the weight um I was single for about a decade yeah I dated I had friends I traveled and you know casually dated but never really committed to anyone in the last 10 years and that was very purposeful because I just didn't believe in settling if I couldn't find all that I wanted in somebody I didn't really want to date you know just for a short period of time or just in between until I find who I really wanted because men look at that they look at your track history they look at the type of men you've been with and if that man doesn't measure up to to him then it kind of says a lot about you and he won't want to date you either so stop trying to date men just because because they take you out to dinner because they take you out to movies hold out and wait until the right man comes along because the right man may come along but if you're already caught up with some other man or already have his kids then it kind of makes it hard to commit to the one who really wants you or the one who you really want so um yeah it was about a good 10 years that I was single and I was totally fine with that because um I worked on myself so I didn't feel lonely I knew who I was and I enjoyed my own company called weird <laughs> but I really enjoyed my own company I enjoyed writing I enjoyed reading I enjoyed reflecting and traveling by myself and meeting new people so I was totally fine being single because I know what I wanted and I just refused to be to settle and if it took the rest of my life being single I was just totally fine with that um but then mr. Boston came along <laughs> oh mr. Boston came along um so I am very much in a relationship um and I'm happy and I'm happy I'm happy so I'm here in Venice and yesterday after a long day of walking and sightseeing and stuff he's all the way in America but I opened my my hotel door and I see these flowers and chocolate and a love letter on my bed and I'm like no <laughs> it can't be him but it was him um so I'm happy that I found somebody just as romantic as I am just as cheesy as I am <laughs> but um I just wanted to tell y'all to enjoy the wait because when men come along it's no longer about you it's about both of y'all and it's easy to get distracted so now is the time to work on your goals while you are single and if you are in a relationship where you really don't want to be in now is the time to start your exit strategy and another thing I want to touch on is um, a lot of women when they get up in their 30s and stuff and it's clock starts ticking they see all their their friends having babies and and getting married and they kind of feel secluded and a few in particular asked me do I think they did the right thing going after their career and, and invested in their education first before they started working on a family or started seriously dating and I think they absolutely did the right thing because the more you invest in yourself is the better caliber of man you'll be able to get and men will always be there honey they will always be there so take the time to invest in you you did the right thing and you'll find your mr. Boston <laughs> that's all over now um, check out my books if you need more assistance just reach out to me for life coaching on I love 
well, my email is ilovebeige at gmail.com. Subscribe to the Gold Group Inc. Dot com and missbeige.com and I am here for y'all so hit me up on Instagram or Facebook if you have a, a question and I answer all my emails and hope to see you at the next Design Your Life workshop. Adios. Mm.